short a short time here, but okay, thanks. You'll you'll throw in whatever you can here then. So you did a, a little experiment. What'd you do? Well, I, or do you I, want to show it or not? No, I don't. Okay. I mean, not yet. Um, I, I I tried. I couldn't make make our idea of taking existing reflections and making you know having enough reflection to sort of analyze. And then I narrated a bunch of my old journals journal entries from my first year teaching, and realized, God, this is just. I mean, it, it just is. It's just scattered. Yeah. It's about individual students. It's about all kinds it's of hard. Stuff. Yeah. It's hard to go back. I think. Yeah. But, yeah. But, 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 but it's rich because there's a lot there. And what's cool is that there are annotations from my, 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 my coach throughout mm -hmm. you know, in the margin. And then I, then I said, okay, well, I'm going to take some existing teacher reflections and I'm going to see if I can't just see what chat GPT can, can offer in terms of feedback on reflected on self-reflection. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't. Didn't give enough thought to coaching different types of self-reflection, but basically, what it came back with, I, get, I entered three entries, and it just essentially said, overall, while three entries demonstrate varying levels of self-reflection, entry number three stands out as the most introspective and focused on student growth and success. Entry mm -hmm. number two also shows a significant level of self-reflection with the teacher actively seeking. Mm -hmm collaboration and using assessment data. So I, I, I mean, there's, there's did a, you, did you, what was your prompt though? I, yeah, that's it. That's, that's where I kind of would just uh -huh. love to talk through like how, how, how could we design prompts to provide feedback on self-reflection? And I, my prompt was please review the following three reflections from the perspective of a fellow elementary school teacher, share mm -hmm. what you notice about the level of self-reflection in the following three entries. And I just labeled each entry. But I, I didn't I didn't define self reflection and you know like the various criteria within self reflection that could provide uh, yeah I think you would have to do that yeah 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 so that's the next level so sort of uh, work on a prompt that would yield um, an out you know cr criteria for analysis. Mm -hmm. Did, did you or uh, Marina try anything of interest? Um, I, didn't. I can, yeah, I, can, I think I can quickly show what I did. Um, that's not the document I want to be on, but let me get to a different tab. So um, yeah, I just have three entries. So here's here's is that showing up yet? Yeah. Okay. Harry's here. Okay. Hi, Harry. Hey, how are you? Good. Can you see us? I can. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just I, we're just I was just showing. Bob Montgomery, um, my journal from this week. Yeah. Like my, my, my notebook, really. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and uh, so in my notebook, there is a, the, the, um, the professor we're working with at Lehman College doesn't want us to use the word journal, wants us to use the word logs. So I have logs, right? Um, so I have three logs and I have a, and some articles that I'm reading as well. Right. So the idea here is that you could put various things in. Um, but just to get to let's just look at this one. Also experimenting with multimodal, right? So you can you can put video and um, images in. But um, then when I let's see, I use the predictor. So I experimented over here with different things. Um, and I experimented with this one, just referring to looking at a paragraph. And this one, so thinking interdependently, which I think it was an interesting one. But I'm th So the habits of mind, so I think came up with a relatively helpful comment here. 
Paul, can you yeah. give us a framing for the, the, what you were reflecting on and in the nature of your reflection? If I can remember, yes. Um, it's roughly, like you, you look it's like a you were... it's a journal entry, so right. it's just whatever was on my mind. So okay, so, figure out how to, so it, weirdly, it is about how to make a journal, right? Feels like this because I'm doing an outcome. And also, I'm wondering about what the value add is of keeping a journal. Yeah. Um, I know I'm jumping around a lot here. Okay, let me test a couple things. So I'm just I'm just thinking about what I'm doing, right? And the video has not much to do with that, but okay, right. So that let's look at this one. So the the one that went through the whole thing, the Yogi Responder, um, does an alignment. It says in this section of your writing, you demonstrate strong application of the principle of alignment. Right? In this part of the text, you are taking a seemingly scattered train of thought and trying to make sense of it by connecting the different parts together. See, I, I thought that was kind of helpful, right? Um, or at least a helpful, anyway, okay. This, well, is it, is yeah, it true? Ahead. Yeah, it is true. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, the, the, they're very, it's very much a scattered journal. It's, it's not like, uh -huh. I don't know what I'm thinking about really here. Each of, each of the keywords are from habits of mind, uh, things that you see a connection to. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, this one isn't habits of mind. This was uh, this one is um, a, um, a younger yoga principle of alignment okay. <laughs> applied to writing. Yeah. And it, which is kind of a complicated prompt. Oh. But anyway, well, and, so I got to yeah, call time out. I got to call time out. Okay. I'll if we don't I'll understand what's in the journal reflection, and we don't understand what the pr what the thinking partner is, what's the point of you of us looking at what it generated? Because I don't know what a yogi responder is and I don't, and I haven't read your journal, so I don't know what it's responding to. So you can, you, I guess you can share, Hey, this was helpful to me because I know right. what a yogi is, but I don't know. I don't know how to make meaning for myself. So this would be maybe, is this the idea like That's fair about, something yeah. you're focusing on around? Like if you've already done the evaluation of a yogi responder with the students, then this is a way of you breaking it down once we already have that background knowledge. So let me let me pull back from all that context. This is me trying to figure it out myself, right? right. Uh, this is my journal. This right. is my day, right? <laughs> right. This is um, this is June eighteenth, right? right. Um, and and seeing if seeing if the um, seeing which of the thinking partners would be helpful to me. Yes, right? I like that. Okay, um, and just experimenting with that, right? right. So, but then, but. But notice it does say this is exemplified by these phrases. It was useful to have it repeat those phrases back to me. Um, I, just to point out, though, let me see. Uh, I am trying to make meaning for you here. Right? Okay. In your, in your writing, you will sharpen the tra transitions from one thought to the next by re revisiting certain phrases and keywords. If you have already mentioned in previous, right, in your writing, it's trying to help, you know, be a writing coach here. Yeah. I, you know, I, thanks. My my notion of a dialogue journal is that I I wouldn't necessarily, like I would just sit with this and this is what I'm doing. I would just sit with this for a day and then my journal entry in the next day, maybe I would look at what AI gave me and I would respond to that, right? Um, so that's what I'm imagining a little bit. It's it gets sort of profound here. Confusion can be a powerful doorway to insights. Yeah. Okay. I can take or leave it. Right. Kind of like a Chinese cookie thing here. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's good that you're having like, you're just breaking it down. It looks like there's a piece here where you're just breaking it down of what thoughts are coming to you based on what's in front of you. Right. And maybe a little bit of a higher thinking too towards the end, you know? Yeah. So, so there's that. And then, and then, as I'm, I, you know, I did this came across my my feed somewhere. This brainwave synchronized when people interact. So I haven't had a chance to go back to this article yet, but I it is an article I want to keep and kind of look at. So that's what I'm kind of imagining can go in these notebooks too, right? You could put up an article. That's a, also true, and then. So just to just to uh, should, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So th this one, you'll notice that I added, you can add like as you go, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm just sort of trying to figure it out. And I, I wanted to figure out, can I, can on now comment, can I, can I keep it multimodal? Can I put an NPR program in there mm. if I want to? Can I put a story core in it, right? All the different things, like I, I can even put a TikTok in if I want to, mm. um, right? And then I found the Yogi Responder the most helpful the other day. So I asked for that one again. And I'm just gonna go quickly because I know it's hard. Oh, not. It, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, but it, so it, yeah. Or, it, yeah. It, it's the um thinking the yogi responder or thinking partner, is that only responding to text, not not the imagery or the TikTok, right? That's correct. Okay. It would only respond to text. Um and, and we can we can <laughs> be happy to stop and look at the prompts for each of these, but um I think but, that's that's the, for me. What what's most compelling about all of this is not what now comma can do. It's mm -hmm. not even well. It's it, it's 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 what kind of thinking? What are scenarios of value? What's the value proposition for a thinking partner? That's it. That's it for me. That's the holy grail. So what's the value? If 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 I'm an individual who's reflecting, which is really just you know thinking on paper. Mm -hmm. What benefit can can you know what type of relationship can I develop with a with with you know my thinking partner that's helpful and can you speak to that like it, it, is is there any potential that in your experience you saw for benefiting having a thinking partner analyze your reflections as random and as you know whatever scattered as they were and what type of thinking partner are you thinking could be most helpful yeah so Oddly, I, I am finding so the the sort of proposition here is how, is for us to be keeping track of of our prompts and and sharing them with each other and answering yes. that question eventually. I get it. So, I like but I, so I can tell you how far in you know I, I've got three from this week. That's a, right. So one of the ones I used here. Um, so. This is my. I had a conversation with Jessica early. We could, uh, we talked about how what we're doing here is different than what's getting marketed, right? So the tools. So some reflection on that conversation, right? I, I, I kind of feel like we should do this so that it's not like a, re, a, a major reflection. It's just my daily reflection. But then um, what I used here was something that is happening in Dig Discourse. Um, and again, it's a whole nother framework, but it's moves toward um, using digital discourse in your classroom. So I took those moves and there are, um, we can look at those if you want, but, and I, and this is what I came up with. It said, I'm very impressed with your effort that you're taking to incorporate digital discourse into your teaching practice. Yeah, bullshit, right? But sorry. <laughs> um, but your enthusiasm for using AI to enhance dialogue between writers and readers is commendable and it speaks to your, so I find this kind of encouraging. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah. That, right. Um, instead, you are encouraging students to engage in, in critical reflection and build upon their understanding of text as well as themselves in meaningful ways. Such a move will help you foster progress and growth towards strengthening student learning experiences. I'd love I, I would love to hear more about how you further develop the concept and how it ha how it has impact on your teaching practice, and feel free to reach out <laughs> if to who, but um, if you want to discuss the innovative ideas you're exploring. So I took from that, you know, I, yeah, I'm making some progress here, making some sense, and um, there's more detail that people need right mm -hmm. um and i tried the thinking interdependently again um it does the kind of thing that um bob you and i were playing with um it takes that habit of mind and it says okay here's here's a couple of examples where i see it happening and then 
to further this, you might do something else, right? Um, yeah, I just a quick experiment, right? Um, could slow down and look at some of the prompts if you'd like to, or where, where, where are you thinking now from this? I guess I'm trying to, you know, wonder mm. in a real, like in a real life perspective, and you you did a great job following the instructions, with <laughs> generating a journal and trying to apply thinking partners. And I commend you for that. You know, like if you were to actually really try to use it at, to help you, or if I was, mm. I would, I would try to I, I I I would try to annotate you know things as I was thinking about them because I'm always thinking about ideas. So I annotate them, and then at the end of the week, I would have my thinking partner who I've taught to to notice the things that 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 I want to get better at, and to basically tell me, hey, I see you've gotten better, or you've you've shown evidence of the things you you're trying to get better at. You, you know, nice job on the following areas. And, and then give me some questions or things to like try next week. I'm really trying to figure out how to turn it into a coach. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like the coach gives me feedback, you know. I I mean we, it tells we me all... what to try. It, it, and, and what it does is it's helping me build my my own internalized noticing skills, which in theory I should be able to do because I've written the prompt and and I know what I want to get better at, and I know what it looks like, but I just want help every every Friday. Hey, what did, what did I do? Because I don't want to do the work. I want someone, you know, someone else to coach me on what well, I did. You know, is that viable? The context is not viable. You can't have that much. By yeah. that I mean you can't have that much text um, yet, but it will be viable pretty fast, right? I mean. OpenAI just put out last week, it, they just put out a context that is four times as big as the one that we're using. Um, but it, it doesn't, but it's only for chat. It's not for, so they're building the context stuff out. So by the fall, I think we'll have something that can do that. However, I would just propose that what we can do is ask it to think about something for tomorrow, right? Day, maybe not daily, but every three days. You can say, okay, what did you pick on? You know. So just understanding to go back to your journal from yesterday and see what the AI said and build on that in some way. Is, what other is people all think? I think we can do, yeah, yeah. Other what are others, what's, what's percolating? around the idea of feedback on self-reflection in terms of potential on any level. It's, well, the, this summer, um, you know, like, you know, Paul, I had this thing all upper bound. We only have three days uh, with the kids instructional time. And so I have a book called uh, The Best We Could Do. It's a graphic novel, right? And so what my goal is in three days every week for six weeks, is to get across the uh, strengthening, strengthening of composition alongside something that they're reading. So I'm wondering, uh, like if say, it's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are my three instructional days. So I'm just wondering as I go along, if they have a space where they can have this, but we always use maybe say, I'm just making this up as I go, but um, make like on Wednesday is the depository where now comment would be for the things that I've prompted them as we've got along. Because what I'm in my head, I'm thinking is how can I provide a visual about everything that we do that's writing? You know, like I want to provide a visual for every step so they have something visual on their head. So yeah. Harry, Harry, could I slow you down a little bit on that? Yeah. I, I What I would love for you to do would, would be helpful in this community as we are developing this network, this group of us. Is, is for you to keep that journal. Like you right, set right. up so, some sort of journal yeah. of reflecting on your experience with them. Right, yeah, that's what and, I was and, and seeing how you might incorporate AI into that, mm -hmm. whether it's thinking partners or keeping track of your prompts. Right. Um, which there is a, a little gap there, I think. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah but that yeah. it's a way to start. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Because one of the days, like one of those three days, we break out into different roles where they have like 
you know, they where they used to break things down that we've gone over. All I'm saying, yeah, and all I'm saying is that if you do that first, you'll know how how to incorporate it in your class. It makes sense. Jumping yeah. in now is feels like a little too soon. In some right. Uh, yeah. 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 But you know, go for it if you want. But we can take that. Yeah. Bonnie, how are you doing? I'm okay today. Okay. I tried to play around with with it, and it, first of all, I didn't even know how to really do a journal thing. Okay. So I was wondering how to do that, but then I did go on and I did some. I did two different things. One was with a video too, and the other one, um, I just started writing journal notes and then getting thinking partners asking it questions. And I don't, I don't know. Some of the things it came up with were like really crazy, but I was trying different thinking partners. On um, on now comment or yeah yeah on now okay. comment. Can you share these or not? Yeah, I think okay. it's up there. Isn't it public? Did I make it public? I don't know, I don't but know what I was doing. So as you're doing that, let me just say that I this week I've done some tweaking and made it easier and so so um, and and started if this this AI dialogue notebook um, if you click on that you'll go to the first eight steps <laughs> it'll get you started and basically you create a a collection and you drop your documents into that collection. Mm. And then you can use the AI partners. But if you just if you created any document, that's a good start. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, and here it is. So the pictures. So I, I was just writing first. So I, this is I cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where I was. I just just said, let me try. And then I um, tried different thinking partners. Okay. I'm going to be, I'm going to say what Bob said to me. Can you summarize or read? A summarize what I, I was talking about Juneteenth. Okay. Because I'm like, okay, how did we become, you know, we live in such a capitalist society mm -hmm. and, you know, everything becomes about like hoopla and money. And uh, that, you know, I don't, I don't know how we came from no Juneteenth to now Juneteenth is is all this hoopla. <laughs> um, because when I went when I grew up in this and went to the South, my mom used to take us down south where she was from. You know, it was basically it was almost like a, a, a watch day, but not not watch night service. You know, you would either go to a community. Um, building or you went to a church um some powerful black speakers would speak they would do a lot of praying and a lot of like hallelujah they got free they were given freedom and then you would go eat they would either have a fish fry or a barbecue or something and then i'm like okay now we're having parades and hmm. the block parties and what what is all this stuff? It happened and so it, fast, didn't it? It's it like, did. Yeah. And, and I said, well, I didn't go to any of it. So, um, so before, so that's what your journal was. About. Well, that's what I was talking about Got here, it. and then on the other side. So wait, wait, but before you get to and, the and other side, look at what the old head told me: this is not a place for day-to-day -day writing. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is not the place to do this kind of writing. <laughs> in <Montana>. Yes. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. Oh, well, that's not who I want to talk to. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going. And then the I, I am going to ask. I am going to ask you. I'll ask it now, but I, we'll come back. After. All right. I, I, I want to know what I want to know what you do want what kind of response you do want to get. But go ahead, yeah. And I, I, I wasn't looking, I don't know what I was looking for, but then I went to Aunt Larry because I know that's my teacher that they all, the students all call Aunt Larry. He's Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> and this is so him. <laughs> like, this answer is so him. I was like, oh my goodness. 
And then I did something. That I just kept trying different things. Yeah, no. And, but I kept asking the same question over and over again to see what was going to come up. That's what I did with the okay. thinking partner, just like testing the limits of the thinking partners themselves. And then something went to long division. I was like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So but just I, can, you can keep going, but yeah, yeah. And then uh, I don't even know feminine Eminem. I was I don't know if I could see the explanation of who the thinking partners were. Yeah, I don't know if I could see them really well before I was choosing them. If you scroll across, you can no. Oh, when you were choosing them, that's yeah. When question. I was choosing them, I'm not sure. And then I just yes, you can, but not easily. Yeah. yeah, I just got tired of it. Yeah. So that that is an interesting, just quick parenthetical, the, the ability to access the thinking partner's criteria at any point in time should, mm, should yeah. be enabled. It this there shouldn't be a curtain for so, you to go, go look behind to find out, okay, what was that perspective? Right. Right. And then I did it on a um, video that I had. Matter of fact, I'm in there. How I'm did you do it on the video? Explain. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so what I, well, it had a transcript uh, and uh, put the video. <laughs> oh, and then I asked it to give me, first I, I, I asked something. I might, I might have gone in the chat GPT for this to get lessons. Or something. I went somewhere, got a lesson, yeah, a lesson to see what it was going to do for the little video. And then I did that. And then I came over here and I did something. But I was like, no, I don't think this is what Paul wants us to do. <laughs> well, this is this you know is what your, I was your, doing this is your I three... was really playing. I was really playing. That is what I want you to do. Yeah, it's good. My, I think my, that's helpful. Yeah. My question, Bonnie, is it, at any point in time, did you feel like you could? I mean, I see your curiosity about what is going to happen. What What is this thing that this partner going to do? Like that's a big driver here. My, I'm just wondering. At any point in time, did you say, "Hey, this there's something here that helped me get better at something, or like get smarter at something"? I mean, not not from a content, but a skill perspective, like. Is there a feedback loop that could help you um, build your reflective practice? Yes. So look, look, this is what, and when I went in, like for social exchange, which is a digital discourse thing, did you dig discourse? Oh, you are doing an excellent job of leveraging the power of digital media to engage your students in meaningful dialogue based upon the video that I was using, the instructions I was using, and the question that I asked. Oh, I went in, I went in, keep into, going? Can, 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 yeah, this keep template thing, yeah. I went over into you voices, uh -huh. but it wouldn't pull in what it was. So I made sure I noted it was template 13. So I would know where I was playing. Yeah. So I went into another, the that one, that one is that one is a thinking partner too. I yes. copied it. Yeah, absolutely. But, but can I you keep out. reading what it can, what it said by by breaking okay, down? Okay, by breaking down the structure of the video and discussing its importance, you are providing your students with an opportunity to further analyze the material and develop their own conclusions. Additionally, by emphasizing the importance of the message within the video you are encouraging them to think critically about the implications of having a dedicated teacher's support system to further enhance your students' dialogue about text. You could consider exploring other online platforms, such as Youth Voices, that allow them to engage in social yeah. conversations about text. On Youth Voices, students can post daily status updates on their own walls and on other members' walls. And digital conversations can happen both 
synchronously and asynchronously. So I see what you did. You took you took it and put it in Youth Voices and used the template there. I got it now. Yeah. Yes. And then the I reason I the reason I know that is I took that that Youth Voices part out of the my comment version of it, but it's fine. Oh well, I don't know. I let no, it no, I know. Yeah, do yeah, its own yeah. thing. Sure. Did the three questions help you? Which which three questions? These? Yeah. Yes. And I, I thought that the, th the three questions helped me think deep, more deeply about it. I just was playing with the thing, so I didn't want to get into it. Yeah. I didn't even have time to get into it, or I didn't want to make time to get into it. Because the one thing about this is you'll you just start going and going and going, and it, it becomes like a rabbit hole. You just never stop. So, I, I mean, I love the things that I posted were things that I really liked in its response or or I really didn't like its response. Uh -huh. um, to see the opposite ends of that. And my thinking. Right. What, what Bonnie, you're posting. Can you, I mean, I see the post, but in... What are are they associated with something in the left pane? Yes, I guess. Yes, you, you click on it. It's, it's a video. No, but click on click on just that comment there. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It's paragraph there four. It is. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that analysis was using that thinking partner on just those two on that one sentence. Yeah, it's more than a sentence, but yeah, it's a whole it's, paragraph. It, is it? No, it's a sentence, it's Paul. Sentence. No, it's two sentences. Well, two. Oh, okay. But it's yeah. on. It's it's a lesson yeah, plan. Two, two, two. It's just, it was a lesson plan. Students will. Well, it's 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 twenty to thirty minutes. It's whatever activities are described in, in item number four is right. being analyzed. For me, that's like I don't know. There's just. That's just like 50 words. What is that? I don't get how they could. <laughs> but it depends on the thinking partner that you choose. What did I choose right. here? And it also. Oh, and this also, is the same one. And I chose a different thinking partner. That's what I was doing. Thanks, Bob, for reminding me what I was doing. That's what I did. Also, okay. just, just to point out that you can do this. Um, uh, how, how many paragraphs is this? It's like. It's, you're probably okay. Oh, no, it'll go on. It'll be too much. 105. But if it were shorter, you could also ask ask it for the whole document, by the way. If you, oh, go, okay. if you go to the bottom. Uh-huh. Um, or there's a link at the top that will take you to the bottom, too. Either way. On the right side, if you go to the bottom. Oh, side. on the right side. Yeah. Oh. Or, or hit that. Yeah, general comment. You can then see the AI for the general comment. Yeah. There. You can ask it to do the whole the whole document then. Okay, the, well, I'm figuring that out. To, so. Oh yeah, there it is. The whole document. Yeah. But. I'm yeah, but your, your document's probably too long. I don't know. We'd have to yeah. see. So you did those two. Yes, those are the two that I, I played around with. Okay. Um, and I can show you how to slot them into a, a notebook if, if that's useful to you. And Yeah, because I said, well, I don't think this is the right place. And I didn't want everybody and their mother to have access to this because I knew we were just playing. Yeah. I just want to identify that I think so... And this is based on the, the work with the eighth graders, but also the work with your students a little bit, um, is that you just had them play with templates, right? Just mm -hmm. see what's there. And to create. Even right. if they played, I wanted them to create a template too. That was a part of their assignment. Yeah. To I create, excuse me, a thinking partner. I totally understand the need to see what this thinking partner does a little bit, uh, a, a lot, but... Um, there's also just like the teacher saying, here are three in this category, try these three. Yes. Um, and 
and then try three other ones that you want to try. So the, the dialogue journal is, to my mind, as much about learning what AI can do as it is about, you know, using it Yeah. <laughs> at first. So you, you, so you play around, you say, oh, that ant, whatever, Larry, is funny, but it's not going to help me much. Yeah, so right. you don't, but you, but you play. Don't go back to Aunt Larry. Mm -hmm. Right. So eventually in your journal, what do you go back to? Right. Is an interesting question, I think. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you can start saying, um, okay, when you're reading this, this novel or this short story, you know, these partners a little bit, which ones are most appropriate to use in this story. Right. Yes. Yeah. Beyond the ones that your teachers say you have to use, but <laughs> that's anyway. That's what I imagine could happen, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and I yeah. But and but I want you to know, even for me, and what I noticed about students and myself, there was a lot more reading that was involved when you're using these thinking partners. So, and, and and there's more thinking on my part going in, in regarding the text and the thinking partner. So it's, it's a lot happening in, with my brain. So I like that. I worry about it too, though. That, I mean, as Bob was starting to point out, it, 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 like it, it got much too expansive about too little. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I'm not sure how to control that, but I, but I think we can begin in the prompts to ask it for less, okay, so less and pointed, useful <laughs> stuff because, because kids are already good at like scanning through stuff and not really reading it. Right. And true, I don't want to, I don't want to create another experience like that for them. So I worry about, how much text this stuff produces. Is that a fair worry? <laughs> yes. Okay. Because that's why I stopped. Because it was, it, I was like, okay, what are we doing here? And I try not to, even though I'm saying we, I really try not to give it a personal pronoun. And sometimes it's hard not to do that. Yeah. Um, we could... It, it might be worth looking at the core principles for a second, be, just because it's it's almost. I mean, it's still just us, but it's but it's a real example. So if you click on the core principles there, mm -hmm. and I'll share. It. Um, oh, Bonnie, I should have said the instructions for how to set up your dialogue notebook. I, I can help you with that another time or, oh, okay. And, or I'm, I'm building the instructions right there under that. Okay. That so you button. just did that though, right? Yeah, that yeah. wasn't there before. Yeah, no, it, I did it at seven 30. Okay. <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> um, okay. So, so this is something that Christina Cantrell is, um, she's on a panel about these new principles. So we put these up on now comment. And if you go to that and kind of look through, I, I just want to ask you to kind of look through, see what you see. I will point out that, um, oh, let me get my archived ones back. Mm. Okay. Um, we, we did play a little bit with choosing thinking partners, right? So we use background knowledge builder sometimes to respond to each other. Uh, she used the sage, right? And then Tim responded to her AI response. So look through that a little bit, see what you're thinking. Remember, if you click on a comment, you'll see what it's commenting on. So it's a mixture of AI and um, and not AI. Yeah, and and you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, is, yeah. This is an exercise in 
making deeper meaning of a text. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and what I will, so I should just let you look, but I'll keep talking if you want me to show that. So what I started to notice is that as a reader, I would be thinking about, wait, this whole, this whole thing about expanding literacy is, is hitting bells for me, like literacy is used in, anyway. It, it was, so I was noticing as a reader that I wanted a counter argument, right? So mm -hmm. I found another, another view as my thinking partner with, with this particular comment, right? So, which is paragraph five, sentence two, Right, and by the way, it, it gave me a paragraph here that was useful and then gave me one that wasn't. I just deleted it and just added my own. Another concern I have is, right, so it is a, a real valid kind of combined effort. What, what I see yeah. with this, Paul, it, mm -hmm. like, I understand that this is not at all what you're using the tools for, and, and, and you clearly have a valid use. But when I see this, I yep. jump way over that, leapfrog it, and I think, wow, here's the framework for teaching OpenAI how to uh, provide feedback to mm -hmm. practice, for educators, to work product, for students, to, like the, I, I can't stop jumping to that equation of feedback on practice to get better. And mm -hmm. so this, this to me represents great potential as a framework. To you mean, you mean the, the anomaly, their principles? So basically, okay, if these are, if these are valid media literacy parameters, mm -hmm. let's see if we can't design a way for practitioners of media literacy, either adults or kids, um, to get feedback on whether they are demonstrating media literacy. Mm. And so like, I'm just jumping ahead. I, I totally, you got to understand media literacy before you can design anything. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're assessing whether we like these or not. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, just, yeah. I get excited about the next step, which is mm -hmm. I'm going to upload a transcript of my, my teaching today. It could be a dot. Yeah. It could be yep, in, go ahead. into my, into my coach and my mm -hmm. coach is going to see where I spoke and where my students spoke and is going to give me feedback on my practice as a media literacy educator. Mm. Right. So we could, we could build a prompt that has these 10 listed and we could say, okay, what do you, you know, we could say, I, this is one, what I would do. I don't know. We would say, pick two out and show me examples from my text, from yeah. my transcript, yeah. from, and, and then give my me student. one that I could get better at, or whatever, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it becomes just, you know, too much. An encyclopedia. Right. <laughs> right, so, right. So there's that. And it does a pretty good job of selecting, I think. And it does. you can tell it the quote. And, you know, so I think it can coach that way. Um, but... One of the the question I at what point does the teacher who's putting that in get to choose the criteria they're being evaluated by? Right? In the question, it has to be in the question. It has now, to be in there. I, I think it's in, I think it's in the thinking partner they choose. Like, yeah. do they want to, oh. do they want their transcript to be a media analysis, or do they want it to look at you know how they how kids are interacting with each other. I think that choice is kind of important. Yeah. yeah. So. But they have to, and that's why the um, prompt engineering is so important. Yeah. If you don't give it correct prompts, it just won't do what you want it to do unless yeah. you... And Bonnie, it. let me circle around to that you were using prompts that we had your kids without... It was an incomplete <laughs> piece of work we did with them. And it's fine that you're using them and experimenting with them. But the ones that we are trying to identify, and they right now there's a little print beside you see so many of them, nobody else does. Oh okay. okay. Just say, 
but there's a little <laughs> you want. there's a little paren that says um, um, public those I, and I've chosen three under each of the categories okay I'm trying, I'm trying to make this a usable system in some way okay. so just thinking about that a little bit all right I'll um, and thing. so and just so you know if you had a class for example your class now, Mm -hmm. You can see all of them as the teacher, all 40 or 50 of them. And as they're making them and everything. But they can't see them. They can only see the one they've made until, okay. you, until you um, Make it give that to the whole group. Okay. So we've built in that whole sort of release system. Okay, cool. But, yeah, just to know some of that. And, and yeah, I, I was I, on the Thinking Partners that. page, that's explained a little bit. Okay. Um, so as again as of 7 30 tonight okay so keep playing i don't know um we'll come back to this yes i think i mean yeah, what you, or, one, Bob, give us an assignment <laughs> one final reflection it's it like for me is um what is what's a, is is us bringing to the table our our dream thinking partner Mm. Like you've done a great job, Paul, of kind yeah, of capturing all these zany, provocative, you know, concepts around thinking partners. What would be your personal like? Who 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 would you love to have talk to at the end of every week, or and, well, to to give you feedback, basically to notice in your practice. If you could submit your some transcript of your practice that week to some thinking partner, what qualities would that thinking partner bring to the table? And obviously it could be anybody on any given week, but that would be my fantasy is to talk about our thinking partners and what they could do for us. You could write it anywhere and then I can show you how to put it in the prompt or you could just create a create yeah. one if you'd like to. Um, I just want to push back for a second yeah. on that and say that for some reason, my experience in this stuff doesn't make me feel like there will be a one. Yeah. I want, because yeah. some, sometimes I'm going to want to be challenged. Yeah. So I'm going to want a thinking partner that does that. And sometimes yeah. I'm going to want to be encouraged, you know, and sometimes yeah. I'm going to want to be, pull this all together for me. So yeah, it's not about having crazy thinking partners. It's about being aware of rhetorical po possibilities. Um, but we can create all that, and if people don't understand it, you know who cares. But well, the crazy yeah. part is great because it, it 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 simulates a sense of possibilities. Like get out of your box. Oh, you could have Angela Davis, Maya Angelou, kind of like take a communist perspective on like you could do anything, right? That 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 mm -hmm. stimulates your imagination. But when it comes back to reality, where what do we really want in a thinking partner? And it, I agree, it, it doesn't. It's not fixed. But the products that are coming out are going to be more fixed. I just want to say that. And this process is going to be less fixed. And mm. I just want to promote that in some way. So anyway. Right. So, OK. Cool. Thank you all. Thanks all. OK. Thank you. Harry, good to see you. Yeah. We'll try to make us more. Twice today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know. During school, it's like, uh,